hey guys welcome to my series and of course just series of her majesty maureen momo yes yeah in case you're new here yes my name is her majesty maureen momo and yes i'm introducing to you this series and now we're going to be starting on season one and in season one we're going to be having interviews like you can call it stories to ganakuwa maybe nechibozi wozi or stories you can call it anything you like but we are going to be having fun and sharing and learning and getting inspired and everything you know about chivozi but you know in every chivozi you either have fun you either get inspired you either learn something new anything so today i'm having a guest and i know <laughs> i have a guest yeah she's ready with us she's already in the room and you're going to be seeing her i'll be introduced uh, actually i will not introduce her she will introduce herself yes when he uh, like when she gets here mm -hmm. yes so without wasting the time let's just take this opportunity to invite our dear <laughs> gift <laughs> sorry our dear guest oh my god <laughs> yeah so she's actually coming she's in her way yes miss you're very welcome to just series of maureen Ta-da! There she is. Hi, guys. Yes, you can extend this slightly. Yes. So, I'll give her the microphone, of course. Hi, guys. <laughs> My name is Joan, and I'm back. I know you missed me. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're new to this channel because I'm new. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> this is a new channel. Mm. She's used to, you know, she's used to my other channel. You know, she's my handbag. And if you have followed me from the other channel to this one, yes, you have seen her before. Here, she's new, of course. So, you're welcome. Thank you, darling. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm grateful to be here. I'm very humble. Mm -hmm. We are really so humbled as well for mm -hmm. accepting our invitation, actually. Yeah, you can go ahead and introduce yourself and maybe talk about yourself a little bit. Um, hey guys, my name is John. I'm called John, and I have a YouTube channel. It's called John's Diary. I think she's going to put it there. Yeah, I'll put what? I'll put her link in the description box. So guys, make sure you go and actually subscribe on her channel. Yeah, so I'm yes. John, and Momo is my good friend here. Yeah, she's my handbag. In I think short. that's what I can say. For now. <laughs> yes, you're really, really so much welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Me that. <laughs> oh my god so guys as i've told you this is going to be like an interview or you can call it chivos it's going to be like chivos you know yeah okay. so we are going to be sharing some of the things with her yeah so i think without wasting the time mm -hmm. let's just dive right into it mm. Hey girl, mm -hmm. how is Dubai? Actually, ah. before even anything, <laughs> mm -hmm. we are in Dubai, right? Yeah, we are in Dubai now. We are in Dubai. Currently. How is Dubai treating you? Uh, no, that's, I think that's a big question. It's a large question. Like how, how is Dubai generally? Generally, Dubai is not, Dubai is not bad. But again, Dubai is not that, you know something to drag to drag drag eh? <laughs> it's good and bad 50 eh? 50 it's 50 50 oh 50 okay 50. so i don't know how about if in case you're watching this video and you're in dubai i don't know how dubai is treating you if it's treating you well actually you can go ahead and you know type it in the comment section yeah and yeah. you can tell us how it is treating you generally so how did you end up in dubai how did you get the idea and you know things like that now for that question I remember I came in Dubai in February 2022. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I was home. For information, I come from Uganda. I'm a Ugandan. Yeah, we are both Ugandans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was home and I, I was unemployed, you know. If you're Ugandan, you know that our yeah. economy, eh? so it was not giving. Yeah. So I was like, if I'm going outside countries for greener pastures, so why don't I try? There were many options like going in Saudi Arabia to work, to work like a water maid. As a kadama. Yeah, as a kadama. <laughs> and there was an option of coming here. Yeah. Yeah, so 
I went, we have different recruitment, recruitment companies in Uganda. So I went, I applied, things did take long. So, so like you just get, so who actually, uh, who recommended the recruitment company? You, you knew the company already or you had friends here who gave you the idea, who passed the information and everything? Funny facts. If you tell, if you ask me who recruited, like who recruited me to their company, I don't, I don't remember. But you remember yourself <laughs> at the recruitment company. I don't know for the recruitment company. I know. Can I say the name? Oh, it's marketing. Yeah. Not just <laughs> so, no, I think I think my mom has a friend. Yeah, I think my mom ha my, my my mom has a friend who is here in Dubai. So that friend recommended her. She was like, those people are trustworthy. You can try your luck. Oh, wow. So yeah. you, you join the company and then you do you do the process and then boom. You're here. You're here. You're here. So, was uh, actually, was it your first time on the plane? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was your first time? It was my first time. How was the experience? Oh my god. Oh my god. I used Uganda Airlines. Uh huh. Tell us about Uganda oh Airlines and god. you. <laughs> yes, they have not paid us, but yeah. I was of, so of course, excited. we have to talk about I was so excited, but you know, I was also anxious. Like, what? like what happens in the sky you know i've had many stories i've had what this and that so i was excited you know i remember when i got on the plane i was excited they gave me food i snapped everything i sent home i was like you know guys i come. know <laughs> you have to show all I, you know. I was it was really a good experience mm, it was yeah. nice so was how fun. actually how was the process on the you know that uh, at Entebbe airport the check-in process was it hard were you shivering you didn't know what to do because no, the reason why I was, I was not shivering the good thing that the recruitment the recruit, eh? recruitment company yeah, yeah the recruitment company came with like it came with we, we came you with came it. as a group huh? we came as a group but some members like some members from from that company came escorted us oh so for us we were just they, it was just a smooth walk, you know. He was doing all the they things. They processed everything. Yeah, he was would. running all the errands. We were just following him up to the end. Up to the time, he said bye. Oh, that's then nice. He, so it was, it was very easy. Mm, that's really yeah. nice. So I you, think it gets, it gets like somehow tough when you're alone. I don't know, but I think when you get used, it's easy. For me, I remember it was when it was my first time. Actually, for us, the people for the company, mm. they left us um, at the airport. Oh, and they say now goodness. you're going they told us what to do when we enter there you do this you do that you do this when they ask for this you give them whatever so you know wait well we were in the group but as well you cannot you can no, imagine it's your first time, time. Oh, i had no. to shiva i had to kukankana, but then mm, it all ended so after the check-in you are the waiting lobby tell me about that i've not had you tell me about those things i'm like oh, i went to the waiting lobby and uh, then no. the boarding pass i don't and remember <laughs> i don't i don't remember going there but i think we reached when it was like it was some it was it was late but i think we just came and we went straight to the what to the plane we, we didn't wait you didn't wait oh no, we oh didn't. that was nice okay so the experience at the plane was good was good i was uganda like airline mm. are the seats comfortable in the plane yeah the, you know everything was new so you get excited about this you get excited and the about fact, this yeah the fact that it was your first time you haven't yeah. have you experienced other pl other planes before like <laughs> it was my first time yeah. it, was my, it was my first time and it's still my first time up and now. actually yeah yeah, it, but uh, but there's that time when we reached. I think which ocean do we pass through? Ha, don't ask about the ocean, my friend. I think it's Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Yeah, it's Mediterranean. No, that one when we reached there, the plane started, you know, shaking, shaking. I remember I started crying. I started praying my last prayers, and I, it was it was like it was going to crash. You know, but I think it's just a feeling since it's you know, so it's just that feeling. Okay, that was, yeah. that's nice. So, after you reached here and everything, someone came for you. They came and picked you to the place where you were supposed to sleep. So, since we came as a group, mm -hmm. since we came as a group, the vehicle was already waiting. Oh, yeah. 
the vehicle was already waiting, but I was just amazed by the airport. Oh my god. It's Air oh Dubai Airport. God. Tell me. When I reached the airport, I was like, wow, wow. So I I compared it. Ah! Stop it. <laughs> I was like, Stop what? it. Honestly. I ah. was like, what? You know, I took pictures. I sent home. I'm like, you know, I'm already here. You know, but let me tell you a story. Since in Uganda, when I reached here, I got I got my bag from here, from the back, and I got it here. And I sent my pics when I was holding it like that. I was holding it like that. Mm -hmm. So you thought they were going to yeah. When I reached here, when I sent when I sent my when I sent my picture, someone here told me. Here they don't steal. Just hold your back at the back. You know. You can yeah, you can feel self, yeah, eh? Recently recently like, checked my pictures, you know. Google brought back the memories and I was like, wow, I laughed at myself. When you were holding your oh, bag here and go to have a cool you know. I still, you know. Hmm. Still home. <laughs> That's nice. Actually, you know me one thing I loved about the Dubai airport. You know when you reach you connect on Wi-Fi. Oh my God, I just loved that. You connect Wi-Fi yeah, immediately. Yeah, I remember it was so connected. That's you how connect I like your pictures. your the airport is so big. It is really it's big. Really, it's, it's nice. Really. It's nice. The yeah. experience I also have it, so I had to share it with you as well. Mm -hmm. However much it's the guest telling us the story, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, really. it's nice. So after reaching here mm -hmm. actually you came in which season winter or i came in as i told you i came in february i think we were still in winter so i was like so we were when we were still home people were saying hey dubai is hot dubai is hot but i've reached in february it's not hot you know it was kind of cold yeah <laughs> then when we reached <laughs> then when we reached in i think april that's when the sun began no, yeah. sunning. You go to the bathroom, <laughs> you put your hand. The water is hot. It's like, it's like the water is from the kettle. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, it was hot. I was like, ah, so these people were right. Dubai is really hot. That's when you started experiencing the hot side of Dubai. The so you life. like, you guys, like, she reached in the car weather, which was February. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> and I, then I was she, like, oh, she mom, was, mom, I'm still, like, the weather is still, like, the one of you. Maybe she thought people were lying about when they were saying, you know, Dubai is hot. But until she had to experience it. I experienced it. Mm, we learn by experience. Mm, experience <laughs> is the best teacher. <laughs> okay, mm. that's nice. So, what have you actually, uh, how do you find, the, do you mind telling us about your job or like we can ask about job hunting here? How do you find job hunting in Dubai if someone is looking for a job? What is okay? How would you find it? Oh, job hunting now for that. I don't want to give like any false information mm -hmm. like about job hunting. I came from Uganda with a company, so I reached here when my job was already what was, was already, already here. here. So when you reached here, you, you went straight to work. Yeah, I started as soon as I reached here. You went straight I started, I started so if work. someone is in Uganda, what do you recommend them? Like when they want to come to Dubai, should mm. they come on visit visit visa? Should they also come using a company as you did? Or? So now that question is tricky. You know why? Because I think now about that, I think it's luck. Oh. It's luck because you can use a company and you and you and you come and you start working. Again, you can still use. The visit visa and you come and you still get a what you get a job a job but again you can still come on a visit visa and you it expires it before you what you, you end up being overstay and you know things like and they'll that give you what but <laughs> yeah they call it on so basically if someone has faith they can come using your visit they visa. can but if you have lost on a safe, if you want to be on a safer side come using you can company. come using a company so when you reach here when a specific period of time is done you cancel then you start looking for another job. Mm. Okay, that's really nice. So, mm -hmm. another question that I have for you is, mm -hmm. what has Dubai taught you for the time, oh. for the longest time you have stayed in Dubai? What has Dubai taught you? Generally, generally. Wow. Wow. That's oh, you want me to categorize? Can I categorize? <laughs> no, you said in general, you can't. But generally, you can survive a lot of 
Whether you cry baby, whether I'm Tima Waka, even if by that you have relatives here, <laughs> everyone on their own here, it's that one thing you can survive alone. And here, when you're here in Dubai, you have to put God first. You have to put God first. Yeah, yeah. If you don't have God, you'll die of stress. Dubai has taught me to get closer to God. Even I was close, I was close to him in Uganda, but here I've gotten closer to him. But when when I feel here, it's not easy. Mm -mm, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. You get things which break your heart. You, you know, and then your working environments and everything. Everything is overwhelming. So when you collect it, the only option is God. Okay. So do you yeah. have any? Okay, <laughs> because you've talked about on the stress and everything, Dubai has told you you can stay alone. What's that good thing you you talk you can say about Dubai? You'd be like, at least I have learned this from Dubai, either in the working area and working mm. environment, finance, how maybe we manage. Maybe you have learned business skills, something like that. Mm. Okay, in the financial finance. The financial sector. Exactly. Oh, in the financial sector, Dubai has taught me to say, you know, home. <laughs> Home of it depends even on the company you're getting. But here, even if the company is small, you have to what? You have to, to save. save. The culture of saving. You have to save. You know? And even my working environment, I've learned to interact, you know, with different kinds of people, different cultures, because you know you can't work in an area where you're only Ugandans. Mm -hmm. So you work with Arabs, you, you, work, you work with Nigerians, you, you know, different Nepalese, Filipinos. So, so you have to learn to interact with them. Mm -hmm. If you, you know, you're this kind of an, an introvert, you learn to be extrovert. Something Even like if you that. remain an ex introvert, there is a way you will talk to them in a way because you work with them. So, yeah. so you can keep quiet. You have to interact with them whether you like it or not. Exactly. Even okay. patience. You have learned patience. patience. <laughs> Patient in which way? <laughs> being patient at work. Being patient at work, even even if it's not at work, like even being patient here. Since I told you we work with different kinds of people, so everyone we come with their own words. They all come from different backgrounds and everyone they have their own behaviors and characters. That can have, huh? <laughs> if you, you don't have patience them, and you want to give them even your own boss and you're like but you have to control yourself. Come on, you know, we are okay. Mm -hmm. I think this is going to be the last question. Uh -huh. eh. mm -hmm. Yeah, to come at we actually to my did some work. I don't know. <laughs> what Anyone? kind of advice would you give to someone who is in Dubai and they feel like they have lost hope? They feel like mm -hmm. what can you advise them? Now, I think. The way you've asked that question is like in a category like some are jobless, some yeah, are in overstay. Exactly. You know, as I've told you, the first thing is God. God, go to your knees. Go to your knees. But again, as you're going to your knees, be ready before search for our jobs. You know, here it's not like in in Uganda where you have connections. But this person I can give command in and they apply for me. We have different platforms where you know you can drop your CVs, where you can go physically you know, and you drop them, you know. Yeah. As you pray, do the what? The needful yeah. and search for because those jobs. God is not going to get a job from heaven and let's see. Mom or what or be like Joan. <laughs> don't you see I have created No, <laughs> you need to go to the knees. <laughs> As you also and, what? Yeah, and if you put in action. Yeah, and you also connect with people. Those things of say of being introvert like this one I said. <laughs> Try to connect with people, make friends, you know. In those friends someone we will give you like a kawak eka tip will give you like connection. I've had I've had the job hunting here, I've had job hunting here so they can give you what? Connection, yeah. Yeah. And you end up getting like a job just like Those that. things of being introvert baby. I've by the way I saw a quote. Mm. Was it yesterday but one? Things of my circle is small. Your circle needs to be small when you're fit, like when you're financially. A tip I saw that quote it said, You're going to keep your circle small with your three broke friends. 
and you will be like that and you will end because up because you don't want to you know my kasak i want to i want it to be small i don't want to interact with different kinds of people you will remain you remain poor with your three friends and that's how they end up being jealous uh, on one another you know actually that's when jealousy <laughs> kicks in you know you will be three because you want to keep yourself on small by the way that's when jealousy kicks in because jealousy comes and kicks in those times when you're broke now one of you has a boyfriend maybe he's cute maybe he has money you know and, and then this person who come and talks my mom my man you come and you tell man. your friends thinking that you know they are your friends of course they are your friends but when you begin I'm still here <laughs> <laughs> when you begin Just achieving <laughs> when you begin achieving you know mm. someone will start you know they just like they like you to thing. be on the same way exactly yeah so keep yourself as small if you know your own financially well because there is no way because i mean you will be on the same level you can remain your with your three broke friends and you and you get some other people you know yeah <laughs> you at least make friends out there yeah. it's good actually it is very good it is very important to make friends because we all need people in this life there's nothing no you an island no man if, if even if you know when god wants to to do something in your life he will use people to to give you all said you can't come from heaven. You cannot come from heaven. I like mean, the way he did in Old Testament. Yeah. Oh, so if yeah. God uses people who are you keeping yourself on small, who are you? Don't. Don't <laughs> keep Okay, keep those friends your three friends your your three friends closer. But these you are, you are, you get other friends outside. Yeah. It's actually good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah so guys i think we have come to the end of the video or mm. the shows or the interview any name you call it yes and we are so grateful actually thank you so much for you're welcome being here yes guys thank you so much for watching if you watched from the beginning till this far thank you so much for supporting if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that i'm going to be coming with just know i have a lot in stock and you can't even you cannot even you can't but you're gonna watch it <laughs> you cannot hold yourself missing what i'm going to bring because a lot is going to be coming as you can hear the name of the channel it's series series seasons and episodes so you don't know what to expect in what episode and in what season so girl boy <laughs> keep tuning in i think that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to love your friends and support them remember love covers a multitude of sins i love you so much bye peace Thank you.